So this is hand axe which was discovered in 1980 and this is the earliest tool which was used by the people of this area. It was discovered near Rawat river in Potwar region of province Pakistan, Punjab province of Pakistan. Yeah. About 50,000 years ago we have the traces of stone tools. So these are about 10,000 to 3,000 BC discovered from Rory Hill, Sakhar and some other parts of our country. So these stone tools include flags, chert blades and cores as well as hand axe. Mm. So these quartz implements were used by the people of Paleolithic period and this is the earliest period when the peoples were living in caves and also the rock shelters and we have also the traces. Mehrgarh, Balochistan, we find the traces of not only the stone implements but also the peoples of this area are, they start how to agriculture, they learn how to make the pottery. So this is important period that when they learn different skillmanship, they start to learn craftsmanship. So you can see the, especially the pottery, the beads making and human figurines as well. So these are very prominent. These are about, this is the period 4000 BC. More than 9,000 years from now, the traces at Mehrgarh in Rostan, which represent the Neolithic period of Pakistan, we have concrete evidences of this culture. For Neolithic period, is transitional when we enter to the Indus Valley civilization. So it is important to learn and to see that how they develop this kind of craftsmanship, skillmanship, and especially the architecture, not only art but also architecture. So earliest peoples living in the Neolithic period, they learn houses, how to make houses. Let me get your name right. Yeah, Dr. Tahir. T-A-H-I-R. Yes, I am. Right. Um, can I ask you this? Uh, you have been a supervisor mm -hmm. for uh, maybe honours degrees, but not only. Most importantly, you have been a supervisor in the past for people doing PhD. Yes. Would you, would you, as supervisor, recommend that the PhD students uh, narrow, uh, narrow their field of study yes. down to yeah. one thing to make it exactly. uh, rather than broad? Yeah. Of course, take the big picture first exactly. for the education. Then you come. Th then come, and mm -hmm. what is the focus that you might do? What's the focus that okay. you might do if you were advising mm -hmm. PhD students? There are so many topics, there are so many hidden chapters, there are so many low subjects which can be studied more thoroughly. If you talk about art, I can see, I can suggest yes. that they should learn or study that uh, what techniques they learn and how they learn this kind of carving, especially the fish. In uh, architecture, if you talk yeah. about, I can tell you that. If it, if it was uh, focusing, mm -hmm. uh, I'm a chemist. Mm -hmm. So, as a chemist yes. uh, or physicist, I did physics and chemistry. Yes. Yes. Uh, you would you would focus on the uh, components. components. Uh, what is what is the material? What is the material? And then investigate and that. This is another important thing mm -hmm. that X-ray fluorescent XRF is used. To X ray to, crystallography. Yes, that yes. can give you an idea what is the composition of the material which was used. Exactly. For example, if you have the information and you got some study on these figurines of Mehrgar and you can compare it with the Manjodar sites, so you will learn, you can understand that the, with the passage of time they learn how to make the different techniques. And this is the simple as the, in 3H system when the pupils who are living in Stone Age when they enter to the Bronze Age and the Bronze Age to the Iron Age. So this brought 
division is also help you that this belongs to this and what was the composition of the material they used in stone age and in the bronze age so there is another important thing that you can do as a chemist as a physicist you can understand and this gives you a comparative study study that the material this was used in different phases Mm. So oh, this is that. from Rajasthan at is 2700 BC to 1800 oh, BC. Okay. Look at how many pieces they put so, together. Yes, this is restored object, oh, and it was discovered. How did they yes. find every piece? Yes, amazing. And uh, this is the contribution of the French archaeological mission. Oh, really? Dr. Jerich, mm. Dr. Jerich, Dr. Jerich, and Dr. Catherine Jerich. Mm. They spent more than 30 years mm. of their life. in Balochistan right. in Mehrgar sites mm. and with these their contributions a lot of cultural material was discovered. this is a lady a lady okay yeah. and she is maybe cooking maybe mm. she is doing some uh, you know mm. crane grinding mm. and sitting and the, her headdress is on behind back side Yes, yes. And she is also a necklace is also showing in in oh. yeah, at the neck. Yep. And it, it uh, looks like that she's so, preparing a uh, dough so for a bread. Grains, some grinding, some. Yeah. So this is such kind of specimens yeah. can. The big can, one, um, the big mortar, one. mortar and mortar pestle, and pestle, mortar and pestle. The things. Th that that yeah. is that is beautiful. Beautiful from a star. See, But another. don't forget the one next to it. This is yeah, de this the is decoration is decoration is, is very, good. very, eh? very good. great. So sample. this fish and uh, other designs were transformed to mm. Man Manjadaro and Harpa of Indus Valley civilization. Mm. So mm. this showcase up to here we are before the Indus Valley civilization, which was the advancement of technology. What was the the art and This is actually a man sitting in a position like this. Okay. Yes. It's not a female holding a child, but it looks like a female holding a child. Oh, not. But this is a male, male yeah. figure. Is it sitting? Yes. Yeah. And uh, this is very fine. It is very, you know, this is timeless, but uh, it is very beautiful. Mm. And uh, the craftsmanship especially and the skillmanship shows that in the 4th millennium bc the people of this area was were efficient making pottery and not only one kind but different kinds of pottery and mm. the texture was used by different in the different styles and different mediums even mm. 